Anne, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of goods receipting in the new Agresso system. So I'm going to start with the goods receipting. You can see that on this right hand side here, I have a list of favourites. So I have added these screens um, to my favourite list so I don't have to worry about whereabouts they are uh, in these menus. So I have got goods receipting here, so I'm just going to click my favourite icon. And this has opened up the goods receipt screen. So the first thing that I'm going to put in is my order number. So when we receive our um, goods delivery note, it should have our purchase order on it. So I put in my order number and it's brought back all the details of that particular order. So it's told me who the supplier is, so that's why he was Sun, Sun Park Service Station. It told me who requested it, so it was me that requested these, um, these particular goods. If I had an external reference number, I could put it in there. It's also defaulted in today's delivery date, so it is assuming that I have received the goods today. If I receive them on a different day, I can change it by clicking on the calendar, opens up the calendar and I can choose the day that I actually um, receive the goods. This particular order has two lines attached to it. So the, the line one, which is highlighted at the moment, has said that I had an order quantity 10 and I previously received 10. So in this previously received column, it tells me that actually that line has already been fully received. If I click onto line two, this allows me to receive the goods. So I may say I've said that on this occasion I only received five items of the ten that I ordered. You will see that that's now highlighted this rest cancelled button. This is giving me the opportunity to say, actually, of those 10 items that I've ordered, I'm not going to receive any more. So if that was all I needed to do, put in five and hit the save button, that would be my receipting done. So it's as simple as that. I put in the order number, the lines come back that are associated with that particular order, I choose the line that I've received, and enter the quantity and press save. If I wanted to do um, put in some more information about the delivery, there's this additional delivery information. By clicking that box, it allows me to put in whatever I want. So that could be about um, the condition of the animals that I receive, whether I have received 12 and I'm returning to. So whatever additional information I wish to put in, about the goods that I've received, I can put in here, or I can leave it blank. Don't have to do anything at all.